Today we're going to be talking about the features of the new Pilot Kakuno fountain pen. The Pilot Kakuno was made with the beginning fountain pen user in mind. So first of all, we're just going to talk about the different colors that it comes in and the different sizes. So right here you see we have a gray and a blue. It also comes in a pink and a light green. And it comes in an orange and a red. Now these are all medium nib size, but it also, all the colors come in a fine nib size. Now something to know, in case you don't already, about Japanese nib sizes is the fountain pens that are made to market in the United States are actually a little bit fatter nibbed than the Japanese fountain pens. So when you see a Japanese F, like we sell, that is often equivalent to like an American extra fine, and the medium is equivalent to like an American fine. So the F is more like an EF in the United States, and the M is more like an F in the United States. So the next thing I want to talk about here is just the packaging, because I'm really thrilled by how nicely they package this product. It is packaged so well for something like gift giving and I just think it's really really cute so you open it here and this is like a blister pack and you're able to pop out your pen it's a real lightweight pen and you pop out your lid. Now each pack is going to come with an ink cartridge so that the pen is ready for you to use. I'll get to the different ways that you can use inks in the pen in just a moment. And then you also get this little pamphlet, which is in Japanese. <laughs> you may or may not be able to read it. Now, we also include with your order an English version of how to fill your fountain pen and, and it has some remarks on how to care for it also. If you're not one of the lucky individuals who can read Japanese, you do also get this. But this is still a really cute diagram and has some details about the pen on it. So right off the bat, I have to mention how cute this is. So you can probably see that this nib has a smiley face on it. And the idea is that you can see that smiley face when you're writing with the pen. Now they've also done something kind of funny on the cap. This guy right here is supposed to be looking like a face also. So they've really tried to make this pen kind of extra cutesy and appeal to, you know, kind of a younger or at least beginning fountain pen user. So another thing to talk about with this pen is they've created this groove on the cap so it's very easy to remove that cap. Now your pen is still going to hold very securely but it's also going to release quite easily because of that groove. It's a very lightweight pen. So why don't I start with kind of the easiest way to use this fountain pen. To fill this fountain pen and use it in the most simple way, we've got one of these pre-filled cartridges. And we're just going to unscrew the neck from the rest of the pen here. And it's as easy as popping this, I'm going to kind of let you see inside there. You can see there's a um, kind of a tooth that sticks out. We're going to pop this on there. And you can, um, you know, squeeze the cartridge a little bit to help it get flowing. It will take a little while to get it flowing. Um, another way is to just start kind of making some squiggles with it. And you have to be a little bit patient in this part because it's not going to come out right away. Okay. 
So here we go, it's flowing. So this is a medium nib. And again, I'm using this pre-filled uh, blue-black ink cartridges. And it didn't take too long to get it flowing. It's pretty nice. So this pen, like I said, is very light. So it's very easy to write with. Now, there are, of course, other ways to fill this pen with ink. You can also use the Converter 20 or the Converter 50 with this pen, and that way you could pick any ink type or color that you desire. The Converter 20 is often called a plate press type converter, and you use this lever on the side to suck ink up into the converter. If you want more specific instructions on how to use these converters, please watch our separate video on how to Japanese fountain pens. We will link it below. And then, of course, there's a converter 50, which um, also pulls ink up through it, but by screwing it instead of pressing it. This type of converter is often called a rotation type converter. But if you use a converter like this, then you're able to choose, you know, any beautiful color of ink that you choose to put in your fountain pen. So now let's compare the medium and fine nibs of this pen. Okay, so here we have a fine version of the pen. Okay, so so there's your medium nib version. So here you can see the nib difference in the medium and fine kakuno, and you can see the writing sample for each. We hope that this video gave you an idea on whether or not the Pilot Kakuno would be the right fountain pen for you. Thanks for watching.